What's up, YouTube? I want to create a quick video on how we go ahead and format our make emails from something that looks like this, which keep in mind, this is somebody who just submitted their information to a website or a lead form, whatever. This is what they received. This is unreadable. And it also diminishes the value of whatever brand you're representing. Now, how can we make something go from this to this, which seems so much more professional with there was actually time put into it. And also more important than everything else, the information that we want to transmit to the user is very clear. We tell them, hey, look, if this information is, not, is incorrect, let us know. I don't even want to read this. Now, the key to actually switching between both of these is something that I'm sure the developers in the room will be like, well, duh. But I think for the rest of us who maybe are, don't have as much coding experience, the key is HTML. Now, okay, that's great. How do you go ahead and transform both of these? Well, in the year 2023, we have our dear friend, ChatGBT. So all you have to do you can go into ChatGPT, and I'll actually show you how right now. You're going to go into ChatGPT, and you're going to tell them, hey, look, pretend you're an email formatter. It actually can keep it very, very simple and just say, format this email through HTML so that it looks, or just format this email through HTML. It'll give you something that looks like this. You can just go ahead and copy exactly this. Copy this code. And then we're going to hop into Make to actually show you how to implement it. So once you're in Make, you want to open a new like this open a new gmail module and send an email and go ahead and fill in your information however now instead of just writing in what you want to write just copy the code that gbt gave you right there and the one thing you want to be careful of is the names and whatever variables that you're using those ones since they change Whatever you're connecting to this email needs to be input here. And then you are done. That is all. Press OK. Let's try it. And, and now if you've done everything correctly, you should have received something that looks like this. It's that simple. Now, of course, you can go ahead and tell GBT, well, make it change the colors, brand it to however you'd like. But the core concept is it doesn't take more than that. And that's pretty much it. Now, this was a short one, but I mean, I said it in the beginning, right? You just got to integrate that into every email you send and you never have to think about it again. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.